Hey, this is your friend Steve Trevino, and I am on the improv stage, uh, specifically the Chicago improv stage, and I'm very proud to say that it is going to be sold out this weekend, which is a huge deal for me. I never thought that this day would come. This is something special, and, and I'm floored, and, and, and I'm honored, and, and me and my wife, we're, we're overwhelmed with the amount of, of followers and love that we get, and it's not Hollywood that is gonna give me a career. It's not Hollywood that says I can or can't be a stand-up. Uh, those executives over there, they want, me, they want me to be the stereotype, and you people don't. You people are the ones that have given me and my wife our life and our career. This story I'm about to tell you, this, uh, it's for a couple of reasons, you know, uh, some of you might need it, right? Some of you might go, hey man, I'm, I'm struggling in, in my career or, or in the things that I wanna do and, and I'm not getting anywhere. Okay, well this story is about that. As long as I can remember, I always wanted to be a comedian. Uh, I started doing stand-up comedy in elementary school, all the talent shows. I started working the door at the Addison Improv. I got to see all these headliners come through and I would work the door, I would answer phones. My entire goal was to be around stand-up all the time, every day, as much as possible. From there, I moved to Los Angeles and I worked on a TV show for Comedy Central. And that's when I thought to myself, you know what? It's happening. I'm working for Comedy Central. I'm a writer. I'm doing warm-up. They're gonna see me and I'm gonna make it. I would get these auditions uh, from Hollywood that were for, you know, accent required. Cholo number one, gang member number two. It wasn't me. And I got tired of them always expecting me to be the stereotype. So at that point, I made a decision that I would not play the stereotype, that I would not be the stereotype, that I was gonna show America this version of being Mexican-American. There was a gentleman producing specials for Showtime. I would run into him and I would ask him if, if, if he would be nice enough to give me a special. And uh, he said no. I said, I tell you what, I said, I'm performing at the Ontario Improv. I will send you a car so that you can come see me. And if you don't like what you see, you never have to talk to me again. He agreed. He came to my show, saw my show, and this is what he told me. He said, we are filming eight Showtime specials. I'm gonna squeeze you in, in between. We're gonna pitch it to Showtime and we're gonna hope and pray that we sell this thing. He turned it into Showtime and Showtime agreed to buy it. Boom, I'm on Showtime. Oh my God. And I thought for sure, right? I got a Showtime special. It, it, it did great, it, it got ratings. Uh, definitely gonna get another special. Somebody's gonna call, right? Hollywood's gonna give me my special. Nothing happened. Zero things happened from Hollywood. Uh, I sat down on, on, on my bed with my wife and, and I'm being, uh, I'm not exaggerating. I, I cried to my wife and I told her, I said, well, may, maybe I need to, we gotta pay these bills and, and maybe I need to play the stereotype. Maybe I need to show up at these auditions with an accent. Maybe I need to play their game. And, and my wife and I sat there on that night and she said, we're not gonna play their game and we are gonna do it our way. And at that point, the next idea was, me and my wife said, well, fine. Hollywood doesn't want to give us a special. We're gonna do it on our own. We decided to shoot the special in Corpus Christi, Texas. When I was done filming that special, my wife and I had $400 in our bank account. $400. We shopped it to Netflix and Netflix bought it. I told my wife, we did it. We sold a special to Netflix. We're gonna make it. It's gonna do amazing things for us. People are gonna see it on Netflix and it, we're gonna sell tickets. And then Hollywood's gonna call and Hollywood's gonna say, Mr. Trevino, you did it. We're gonna give you a sitcom. We're gonna put you in movies. None of that happened. None of it. Nobody was watching the special. So we made these little commercials and we put these little commercials out there. I remember the first one uh, I told Kyle, I'm like, dude, check it out, 10,000 views. Oh my God, 20,000 views. Dude, we were 100,000 views in two weeks. Oh my God, it's working. And then he actually came up to me and he goes, it's too long. We need to do a shorter clip. So the next clip that went out was the shopping bit and my wife playing the price How is right. How much do you think actual and it retail price? Viral. So after that, we started putting clips out. People started watching the uh, Netflix special. And I was like, holy crap, we're onto something, right? 
but it still hadn't sunk in at that point, okay? At that point, it still hadn't sunk in. I thought to myself, oh my God, we have, we have all these followers. I'm selling out comedy clubs all over the country. Hollywood's gonna call. Well, they didn't. And they haven't, and they still haven't. Me and my wife, because we are a team, we decided that it, it is no longer gonna be on their terms. We have you. We have each and every one of you. All of you that, that like my pages, that share my videos, you guys are the ones that give me the career. So again, me and my wife, we took our own money and we filmed another special on our own. No help from Hollywood. We shot it again. It's called Steve Trevino Till Death. To all the people in San Antonio, Texas that came out and made it possible, thank you. And to all of you that share our videos, thank you. We filmed it. It's the most beautiful special I've ever shot anywhere that you can stream TV. You can get Steve Trevino till death. And it's up to you guys to continue to give me and my wife a career. On January 22nd, please buy Steve Trevino till death. I'll be putting up videos here in the next month or so so that you can share, so that you can let people know. Thank you for my career. On behalf of me and my wife and my child, you guys are the ones that made me. You guys are the ones that pay my bills. Thank you so much.